Hey, what's up, Moglers? Justin here. Welcome to Friday Favorites. These are my top five After Effects tutorials to get the basics down. So you can do stuff, you know, like this. Oh, thanks, Eric. Now, there are a lot of great requests over the Facebook page for specific types of effects. But the great thing about After Effects is that once you know a couple of the basic things, you can do a whole lot. And that's what we're gonna talk about in this episode. All right, so first things first, if you've never opened After Effects, or maybe you opened it once, and it was late at night, and you got scared because there were lots of little buttons everywhere and you didn't know what they did and you peed yourself and you ran into your room and you started crying and you shut the door and you called your parents and your mommy and you want If that's the case for you, you're gonna need to learn the very basics of the program. So first up, Mahalo has a great tutorial that touches on how to import footage and create a composition, along with touching on a couple of other things that we'll go into more depth on later. Now one thing that I thought was a little bit confusing when I started After Effects was knowing how to properly export your video. Luckily, T-Bone Pearson covers that in this great tutorial at about the four minute mark, and you'll learn how to export and get it out of that program, put it into your other program, whether it's Final Cut or Premiere or whatever, just get it out of there. Secondly, let's talk about keyframing. It's a very basic part of After Effects that allows you to animate, to move things around the screen. Check out this very basic tutorial from GMS Nintendo Man. You're gonna be so freaking smart. Let's keep learning, shall we? A couple of fans on Facebook asked about adding bullet holes and blood splatters to your handheld footage. And in order to do that, you're gonna need a heaping dose of motion tracking and just a dash of rotoscoping. Now both those things sound way more complicated than they really are. Actually, aren't you lucky? There's a Weekend Extra episode that I did years ago with Steve Nelson all about motion tracking. So go check that out to learn more about that. For rotoscoping, it's actually been made super easy in the latest version of After Effects. It used to be a real time consuming pain in the butt. Now they've made it pretty much as easy as just swabbing a couple paint brushes around and telling the program what stuff you want to keep and what stuff you don't want to keep. Get the full details on that over at this great tutorial from Adobe Creative Suite. So basically just use the motion tracking feature to stick the blood to a certain area of your footage and use the rotoscoping to make that blood obscured by whatever object goes in front of it. Something else that After Effects is great at is making cool animated text. Thanks to David for requesting this on our Facebook page. You can tweak around the settings a lot to make things either look really cool or really, really cheesy. The presets are there to be played around with. So make sure you check those out. And, and seriously though, they can look really cheesy. So, so be careful. Just warning you, just saying, just saying. The end result is up to you. Watch the tutorial from Mahalo to figure out more about how all that works. Now the last tutorial I'm gonna leave you with is about adjustment layers. These are one of the other cool things I remember learning about After Effects and thinking it was really neat. Normally in Final Cut or other programs like that, you have to apply an effect to a specific chunk of video. What's great about an adjustment layer is that it sits above all your video and no matter what, it affects everything below it. So you can stack adjustment layers, you can move them around. It's a really cool feature that combined with Keyframing can leave you with a lot of cool effects. Now I know After Effects is an expensive program and some of you guys may be saying, I don't have the hundreds of dollars it costs to get After Effects, what am I gonna do? All this information is useless to me, I can't even open it in the first place. Don't worry, Adobe has a free trial version of After Effects. If you wanna get your feet wet, if you wanna try it out for a little while and do some cool stuff as well, there's also educational copies if you're in school you can get for pretty cheap or, you know, find a local design studio or someone who just already has the program and ask if you can use their computer for a little while. It's not that hard to find a copy of this program. It's really everywhere and it shouldn't be that difficult to either learn with the trial version, scrounge up the money to buy the real thing, or find someone who will let you use it for free. Check out the free trial to Adobe After Effects in the link in the description below. All right guys, well just click any one of the tutorials over there, depending on your skill level. Maybe you already know the easy stuff, so you wanna skip to the harder stuff, whatever. Or just click over here to load it all as a playlist and you can watch through the whole thing all at once. Is there any other stuff you guys want me to dig up After Effects tutorials for? Just leave your request in the comment section below. I'll make sure to reply to you under the Indie Mogul account and uh, leave all your requests for new stuff in a little box that I'll fill in in annotations over here. Indie Mogul is all about you guys getting better at filmmaking and we hope that this series is something that is gonna be helpful for you guys to learn a lot more cool stuff 
to make cooler movies so you guys can get big and famous and give us a shout out when you win your Oscar because that'd be totally cool. I tried to look through as many tutorials as I could to find the ones that were the most succinct, the least annoying, and made the most sense for the basics. There's a lot of stuff you can learn in After Effects. You can spend an unlimited amount of time learning more and more stuff, but this is what you're gonna need to get in the door, to start using it, to get your feet wet, as I said, to get acquainted enough with it to learn the bigger, crazier stuff. But really, you can do most things you need to do in an action film or whatever with a couple things that I've taught you here. Thanks for watching Friday Favorites. We hope this has been as fun for you guys as it was for me to dig through all these tutorials. 